Hey everybody, welcome back to their brand new video. Today we are heading down to the Morgantown Mall in West Virginia to go to a baseball card show that has about 50 tables. We'll show you a couple brief clips and then I'll show you everything I picked up. All together, I think I spent a little over $250 and I think this one may have been my best card show haul in some time. A whole bunch of great cards for the money coming up. So this was the setup, about 50 tittle tables, maybe about 25 sellers. A lot of football stuff on the shelves. I spotted this card right here. Some good deals to be found. And uh, we have just a ton of stuff. So many boxes to go through. I couldn't go through everything, but I did spend about an hour at one table rating a dollar bin box and buying a whole bunch of those. And we'll show you all those here in a minute. And this is that exact table. The dollar box challenge, get 200 cards for a hundred bucks, 50 cents a piece. Challenge accepted. I went through all of it. He also had a nice Ellie De La Cruz case that caught my attention and distracted me a little bit. So I took a little video of that. So all together, I spent an hour there. I picked out 260 total cards. I could not believe some of the cards that I got for 50 cents. Filled up an entire housing unit of contenders. We're gonna go through all of these cards right now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell and hit that thumbs up button. And now let's show you what I picked up at the card show. All right, everybody, I'm back from the card show. We're going to go through everything that I picked up at the card show. About an hour south of me in Morgantown, West Virginia. Here's the Tittle Hall. It's kind of tough to fit in the frame, so I guess sideways is the best way to do it. Uh, most of these cards came from one sale. I really, really spent a lot of time looking at the 50-cent bin or dollar bin. It was a dollar bin, but if you bought enough cards, you could get them for 50 cents a piece. And I was like, I, I was probably going to buy at least, I don't know, like 50 to 100 already. And basically, why not just get two, over 200 and basically get like 100 cards for free, right? So I kept going and going and going. And this is everything I picked up. Before I start going through all these, I'd like to remind you that we're having a giveaway this month. We'll be announcing everybody that I'm um, choosing. I'll have a random picker choose all of the uh winners for this giveaway and we're giving away some great stuff like the mike trout autograph Harmon killebrew cut auto i put in something every day i'm gonna go ahead and start to get rid of a couple of my fernando tatis uh graded cards i'm putting his rookie card in there it's a psa 9 if you'd like to submit some of your cards to the christmas giveaway you can do so right there and now let's go ahead and uh, show you what I picked up. So I'm just going to go through these. And again, these were 50 cents a piece, which was a pretty darn good deal. Stacks and stacks. And they're all top loaded as well. So I think all together I spent at this uh, dollar box seller, I want to say that I spent um, 100 and. 20 bucks. I picked out 200 and no, 125 dollars was the total. It was exactly 125. I picked out 260 cards. He knocked five dollars off. So here's everything I picked up an 83 Fleer Nolan Ryan. These are all 50 cents. Roberto Alomar's rookie card from 88 Tops traded. Xander Bogart's rookie. And then anytime I see a Frank Thomas card, Frank Thomas rookie card for 50 cents. I'm buying it because, man, I haven't seen these cards for that cheap forever. Usually at card shows, they're like at least 5 to $10, at least at the card shows around here. There's Ozzy Albee's rookie card. Looking for a bounce back season from him from Bowen Platinum. Walker Buehler will be looking for a bounce back season from him in a couple years when he comes back from Tommy John. Bo Bichette, freshman flash. I was surprised at all the Bo Bichette rookie cards we found in there. Here's a Bowman Heritage first year card of Nelly Cruz for 50 cents. There's a, cool, there's a couple cool ones like that. And there, Reese Hoskins Green Parallel for 50 cents. Pete Alonso rookie card. There's a few Pete Alonso's. Another one, there's a Bo Bichette. That's a 2017 Bowman Chrome Platinum. Aaron Nola rookie card. Aloy Jimenez rookie card. Oral Hershiser 85 Tops rookie. Another Alonso. Walker Bueller's first Bowman card. I picked up a few Byron Buxton rookie cards here and there. Probably maybe like 10 of them, actually. Here's his Bowman Chrome rookies. Grab those uh, every time I saw those. And another guy that I was grabbing every time I saw him was Andres Jimenez. His first Bowman cards. Probably grabbed about 10 of these as well. Andres Jimenez had an absolutely great season for the Indians last year. He is... Kind of, uh, he's kind of under the radar. I think fifth best overall wins above replacement in the American League. Got a lot of MVP votes. Not first place votes, but he got a lot of MVP votes. Finished, I think, fifth or sixth overall in the MVP voting. Logan Webb first. That's his chrome. Andre Jimenez again. Walker Bueller. Bo Bichette, 2020 Bowman rookie card. And Jordan Alvarez rookies. 
I saw a few of those as well. I grabbed all of those up. Pete Alonso, rookie from Big League. Another Yordi rookie card, 1956 style design. There's Bo Bichette. What about this? What's this dude in there? Adam Wainwright, rookie card for 50 cents? I couldn't believe that. So when I started to see, I, I started to think, okay, when am I going to stop here? Am I really going to go through all of these rows? And when I started to see cards like that, I was like, I just have to go through this entire box. There's Bo Bichette, Chrome, rookie card, Sandy Alcantara. Uh, Sandy Alcantara, that is a rookie card. And by the way, uh, he's the Cy Young Award winner. So to get his rookie card for 50 cents, uh, not too bad. We've got Aloy Jimenez, rookie. And there is a prospect card of Vlad Jr., his 2017 Bowman. Always like those prospect cards, another Jimenez. The Griffey 89 Bowman with his dad. That's a cool card. You just like that one. Cody Bellinger, rookie card from Topps Holiday. We also have his... Update rookie card there as well. Kyle Tucker rookie cards. There are quite a few of him sprinkled throughout. Bo Bichette, rookie of the year favorites. Blaze Jordan first. I mean, he was the number one guy in 2021 Bowman, so that was a cool find. Wade Boggs. I figured I would just grab this. It's a second year card. Wade Boggs, 84 tops. Glaber Torres. Um, I figured, why not? We'll get, go for the Glaber. There's an Ozzy Albies rookie card from Gypsy Queen. Joe Musgrove, Chrome. Cole Hamels rookie card. I mean, for 50 cents a piece, folks. Some of these cards... Maybe you wouldn't pay a dollar for Like, maybe you're not paying a dollar for a Glaber, but for 50 cents, why not? There's a Randy Johnson rookie, Walker Bueller, Jeff McNeil, Chrome rookie card. He won the batting title. Luis Robert for 50 cents. Another Blaze Jordan. I know this one's not a rookie card, but still a cool Ken Griffey Jr. second year card. For a while, I was putting in cards like this that I probably wouldn't buy for a dollar usually, but I wanted to get the 200 quota. So you'll see some of those. And then once I got to 200, I was like, I, I got to keep going. There's Bo Bichette rookie card, Pete Alonso rookie. Edwin Encarnacion rookie card. Austin Martin first. Byron Buxton. More Frank Thomas rookie cards for 50 cents a piece. And then this one was pretty cool, so I had to grab it. I hadn't seen this card before. It's a little perforated edge card. Hank Aaron. And this one is from 1982. So that, I thought that was kind of cool. Craig Biggio rookie card. Kyle Tucker. And Shohei Otani gold cup card. That's always a sought-after card, the Gold Cup Otani. Next up, Kyle Tucker, Randy Rose Arena. There's a Juan Soto prospect card there from 2019. Another 2019 Soto. I'm just now recognizing this one has a bum corner on it, but still a Gold Cup card. It's tough to see sometimes in the mall. The lighting is not good in the malls, by the way, these card shows. You're almost better off taking your own light or flashlight for your cards. If this was a higher-value card, I would definitely suggest taking your flashlight out and especially if it's vintage looking, because I've uh, I've had some instances where I've been burned buying stuff at mall card shows because I could not see hairline creases. Vladdy Jr. prospect card in the talent pipeline back when he was in single A ball. That's a pretty cool card. Derek Teeter, 94 rookie class. A Frank Thomas Tops rookie card. Bryson Stott, first Bowman. Bo Bichette and Jordan Alvarez rookies. Andrew Benintendi first. Jose Barrios, first Bowman, Juan Soto prospect card again. Chris Sale, rookie card from 2011 Heritage. Pretty cool card right there. Kyle Tucker, rookie cards. Matt Chapman, first. Couldn't believe that one was in there. That was a pretty nice find. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer Tim Raines in the dollar box. And Tyler Stevenson, that's his first Bowman card as well. We are not done yet. We're just almost not even halfway done yet. Man, I love... Great deals like this. When, whenever there's boxes like this, uh, a lot of time I don't have time to go through, but um, I went to the card show without the kiddos this weekend, so I didn't have to really rush, and I uh, was able to find so much uh, nice things. There's Austin Riley Chrome, another Buxton, Ozzy Albies rookie card, and Raphael Devers rookie card. Love that one a lot. That's his uh, 2018 archives. There's Derek Jeter prospect card from 92 Classic. That's a cool card. Actually, that might be a 94 Classic now that I look at it. There's Reese Hoskins, rookie, Kyle Tucker, and now we have some more Derek Jeter minor league cards. These are the Ted Williams cards from 1994. Andres Jimenez, rookie cards again. You'll see him sprinkled throughout. Austin Riley, rookie. A chrome rookie of Aloy Jimenez. Another Raphael Devers rookie card right there. Sandy Alcantara, another one of his rookie cards. Ozzy Albies, Kyle Tucker. Trey Turner just signed the big mega deal, $300 million man. And we got his rookie card. You know what? He might end up in the Hall of Fame. He is on that track right now with his over 300 career batting average, 487 career slugging percentage. This guy, if he can do it for like, I don't know, six more years, five more years in Philly, I think he's got a Hall of Fame resume when it's all said and done. And a nice Derek Jeter, little road to the show, upper deck card right there. I like those Derek Jeter minor league cards. David Price, first Bowman card. 
I think he's probably done. There's a future star Derek Jeter card from 1995 tops. I always loved that card. We got another Jimenez, Kyle Tucker, another Jeter. This one used to be so valuable. Probably still is worth something to some people. That's a Tim Tebow. Now, he doesn't play baseball anymore, but that's his first Bowman Chrome card. I remember, remember how hot this card was when it first came out. Man, that card was scorching, and now I just picked it up for 50 cents. I never even see that card anywhere anymore. Uh, I don't know if people just don't want to sell it or what. There's Will Smith rookie card from Holiday. Walker Buehler rookie. Raphael Devers rookie card. We've got a Jordan Alvarez rookie card from Update. Bichette, another Bichette rookie. Wander Franco, Leaf. Figured why not grab that one. That's a 2021 pre-rookie. Yordi from Heritage and a Juan Soto gold cup card. All right, we are halfway through. We still have all this. I also picked up a couple slabs there as well. So let's go ahead and continue on, folks, with the next side of the box. Thank you very much for being here, by the way, and hanging out with me in this card show recap video. Again, we'd love to have you along for all of our videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I think, uh, according to YouTube analytics, like 45% of the viewers have not yet hit that subscribe button. It might be something as small as just checking the... the uh, the box below or checking the page below and see if there's a big red dot there with the word subscribe on it. All you have to do is click on that. It is free to do so and you'll be subscribed to the channel. All right, let's continue on. So many more cards to go. A Willie Stargell 1978 Tops card. We've got Wander Franco's and then this one, I bought it anyway because, honestly, I see the error card more than the corrected version, so I figured I, know, I might as well go ahead and buy it. This is the Jeter corrected. So there's no longer Mickey Mantle right there and George W. Bush right there. This is the corrected version. One of these days, uh, I will put the error and the corrected version side by side in some sort of like, uh, maybe like little top loader like this. I think that might be nice with those right next to each other. Uh, that's actually a really thick one touch right there. Here's the Mickey Mantle card from 2010 Chrome. Awesome card right there. Corey Seager rookie card, Tucker. Dansby, Swanson, Bo Bichette. We've got a first of Willie Adamas. He had a huge year last year. Another Bichette, another Bichette. Anthony Rendon is down, but I figured first Bowman, we'll grab it. That's an older one. This is an artist proof of Ozzy Albee's rookie. Jared Walsh, I'm still not sure. I wanted to look and see if this is a short print or not. I don't remember seeing this too often, but a Jared Walsh rookie card. Kyle Schwarber, purple rookie card. We have a, looks like, by the way, this may have used to be $7, maybe. There's Bo Bichette. I don't know what it's doing in a dollar box. Schwarby had a great year last year. More Jimenez and Rafael Devers rookie card as well from 2018 Tops Holiday. Continuing on, we have Marcus Semyon rookie card from 2014 Chrome. Trey Turner's rookie. That's his rated rookie. Bo Bichette, that is a parallel. That is an orange border parallel of Bichette. And then how about a 1986 classic card of Jose Canseco, rookie? That's a cool one right there. I have the bonds like that. And now the Canseco to boot. First of Walker Bueller, Bo Bichette. Another Jeter minor league card, a fire rookie card of Bichette. There's Robert, and I just grabbed this one just because. It's the 52 mantle image card. It's a burger's best, but I still like that image so much. Uh, 52 tops Mickey Mantle card. And I could probably just have this one on display. Um because I don't always have my uh, 52 mantle on me. I like to keep it locked away. But that's a pretty cool one. There's Aloy Jimenez, rookie. This one, and I had this one as a kid somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. It's a post Ken Griffey Jr. 1991, no, 1990 postcard. So this is a rare one, and you don't see that one all the time. So I grabbed that one. Jeff Bagwell, members only, Stadium Club, 91 rookie. Tim Lincecum, the freak, his rookie card. And Castellanos, that's his first Bowman, continue on. Still have stacks on stacks here. We have Aaron Sabato's first. That is a camo. He's a good prospect. Dansby Swanson, 2017 rookie. Bo Bichette. Alec Bohm's first Bowman. Bregman's rookie card from 2017. We've got a Byron Buxton rookie right there. Jose Abreu numbered rookie out of 599. Another Seager rookie. Josh Hamilton rookie card. It's a pretty cool one. Oral Hershiser, 1985. There's a couple Oral Hershiser rookie cards in there. Uh, Hershiser, great, great pitcher. Max Fried rookies also another nice pickup for 50 cents. Jimenez again. Pete Alonzo prospect card from 2018. Bowman Chrome. There's Aloy Jimenez rookie. Kyle Tucker, more Tucker. Um, there's Bueller and Aloy Jimenez. That's the 1991 tops traded. Yvonne Rodriguez rookie card of the Hall of Famer. And some more Tucker 
rookies continuing on. Randy Johnson rookie, Kyle Tucker, Mickey Mantle. That's his base. I love his base tops card. I really hope in 2023 tops, now that tops has the rights to him again, put him back in the set at card number seven. Another Juan Soto gold cup card, Bregman first Bowman. Christian Javier pitched a no hitter in the World Series, combined no hitter. That's his first. Vladdy prospect card, Bueller, another Bueller, another Derek Jeter. This is a Judge Gold Cup card. Kyle Tucker, Jimenez. We've got a 1981 Topps card of Joe Morgan. Not too bad. I always love this card. This was the Then and Now series. I used to love when I'd pull these inserts. I, I opened a ton of 93 Upper Deck packs. And you used to love finding these. This was always the most valuable card from that set. So for 50 cents, had to buy that one. Raphael Devers, rookie card again. Austin Riley, a couple of his. Corbin Burns, Cy Young Award winner last year. And then this one, I've never seen this Griffey before. The Clubhouse Series, Ken Griffey Jr. card. It is a promo from, looks like 19, it looks like 89, but actually it's 1992 on the back. So a cool Griffey card right there. Moving on, we've got a Vladdy, a gold card of Kevin Bishop. Now, Bishop had a terrible season last year, but still his gold card, he does still have some upside. Might as well grab that one for 50 cents. Can't pass on that. Tony Gonsolin, Chrome, how about a Tony Gwynn rookie card for 50 cents? Now, this one is off condition. I'll give it that. There is a little bit of creasing up there, but 50 cents for a Tony Gwynn rookie card, even off condition. I think most of you would probably buy that one. Earl Hershiser rookie. We got Dansby Swanson again, Boba Shett. And then Sammy Sosa from the extremely rare 1990 Topps Big Series 3 set. My brother always told me if you ever see a Sammy Sosa big card, you should buy it, especially if you can see the 1990 Topps Big Series 3 boxes. They are exceedingly rare. So for 50 cents, I had to grab this Sammy Sosa rookie card. Jeter, Randy Johnson, Earl Hershiser, Shohei Otani Leaf rookie card in there. That one Now, Leaf is not the most popular brand, but it's 2018 Leaf rookie. Pretty cool. Austin Riley. Gold Cup of Acuna right there. Reese Hoskins rookie card. Impressionist insert. Next up, we've got Bobby Dalbeck's first. Luis Robert, Bo Bichette again. Yordi again. Bregman and Ozzy Albies. Moving on, I got some slabs, too, that I'll show at the end. We have a Johnny Bench, 1982 Fleer card, Griffey second-year card, Raphael Devers. That is a parallel right there, kind of that washed-out look. And then this was a nice find. It's Cody Bellinger. It is the Metallic Snowflake Parallel rookie card. Nice find right there for 50 cents. Frank Thomas rookie, Austin Riley, Dansby Swanson, Gypsy Queen rookie, Will Smith rookie, Ozzy Albies Prism Refractor rookie card. And Smolty rookie from 1989. Tops. Last stack, man. Lots and lots of cards. So these are the best of the best. So it took me a long time to find all of these. Dylan Carlson first. Bowman. Jeter. Andres Jimenez rookie from Chrome. Luis Robert. Christian Javier. Next up, we've got a Walker Bueller. This is going to be a Walker Bueller short print. He's got the Christmas scarf on right there, which is pretty awesome. And it's also his gold cup. I had to take a quick cough break right there. Jake T. Real Muto, rookies card. Uh, Don Russ, the rookies card. Cool one right there. Boba Shett prospect. Trey Mancini, chrome rookie. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card. This is a nice one. Mike Trout, second year card. Get out of here. I'm buying that one all the time. And I just got faked out. I just realized. I didn't realize at the time. It's a fake. It is a reprint. Darn it. Oh, well, that happens. When you're trying to uh, go through so many cards... I should have flipped it over. No, I'm, I'm just, I have my, my, my head in my hands. Always look at the backs of the cards, folks. Who knows? Um, you might see a nice card and not look at the back and it has like writing on the back, especially vintage. A lot of kids like to write their initials on cards in the like 50s and 60s for whatever reason. Randy Johnson, rookie. Kyle Tucker, rookie card right there. Walker Bueller, rookie. This is a cool one. Mickey Mantle kind of has that feel of those rack pack cards, those all star rack pack cards used to come in the 80s, tops packs. Here's the back of the card. It's actually from the, is that a Circle K? Circle K, 1985? Where's that Kmart? I don't know. It looks like the Circle K logo to me. There's Steve Carlton, 1979 tops. Kyle Schwarber, rookie card. Frank Thomas, we got the Mickey Mantle. That's the image that I like. Had to grab it. Another Mickey Mantle. Ozzy Albies, rookie card. Another Devers, 1991. Ken Griffey Jr., post serial card. And Cedric Mullins, tops finest. So, man. Altogether, 260 cards, all for 50 cents a piece. Actually, a little less than 50 cents, maybe 48 point something cents because he knocked a few dollars off. 
I thought that was well worth it. You can let me know in the comments how you thought I did at the card show. Got a couple more things to show you real quickly before we go. I picked up some slabs as well. Uh, these were uh, uh, 2001 Royal Rookie Miguel Cabrera Futures card in a PSA 8. And an Albert Pujols in a PSA 8 from 2003. So two early cards here of the two... Uh, I guess they were the Legends representatives in the All-Star game, right? Albert Pujols and Miggy. And... Um, I paid, I think, 10 a piece for these. They were in the discount box. I figured, why not? They are PSA 8s, which is not the greatest. You know, obviously, you'd love to have a PSA 10 or 9, but, you know, for the price, had to grab those. And then I think this, I thought I got a lot of good deals in that, that dollar box or 50 cent box. This may have been the best deal that I saw. It's the Aaron Judge rookie card, and it is a prism refractor in a psa 9 when i saw the price on, i was like wait a minute i remember pulling that card and like being super stoked and thinking it's worth way more than that i looked on ebay there's only a couple recent sales they're all within like the 200 ish 250 range so i didn't know if this was a misprice that uh, for the fact that uh, maybe it was priced as a regular refractor but the guy was really knew what he was doing and uh, said that he has so many 2017 Chrome, he doesn't know what to do with them. He has, like, hundreds of this Judge card. So I think he may have just been liquidating them, which I'll, I'll take a Judge PSA 9 Prism Refractor for only 125 Basically, I think it's half price. So that was a nice card right there in a PSA 9. And that was the final card that I picked up. So this was 120 That stack of card was 125 So we are looking at, uh, what are we looking at there, like 245 Plus 20, like 265 bucks I spent or so. All said and done. I think that's a pretty good haul there for under $300, all that stuff. Let me know how I, did, how I did in the comments. I don't know if there's any card shows coming up around here in the future. I'll have to keep an eye out. But uh, getting out to card shows is always a good idea if you want to find some cards for cheap um, and save on those eBay fees and shipping fees that you might otherwise pay. Sometimes you can find some great deals. Now, I did see a bunch of tables... Uh, that had stuff that was way jacked up. I didn't focus in on any of that. So altogether, there's 50 tables there. Maybe about, we'll say, 25 sellers. I bought from three people. So that kind of tells you that you do have to do your due diligence and look around. I saw people selling stuff for double what they what the stuff goes for on eBay. So always be careful. If you see a PSA 9 Griffey Jr. rookie card selling for like $2.99, you're like, hmm, I think I might want that. And then you look it up on eBay and it's like half that. Always look the stuff up. Um, before buying it um, so you uh, don't get caught uh, caught uh, up in a bad situation like that <laughs> I wanted that Griffey Jr. I almost grabbed it but a little overpriced all right folks that's all I have for you today thank you very very much for watching I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and I will see you all tomorrow good night everybody